The Monetary Board has decided to retain its key policy rates despite expecting inflation to ease by the second half of the year. Sujin Kim tells us more. The Monetary Board holds monetary policy settings steady. They also anticipate price pressures to ease further in the second half of the year. With the implementation of Executive Order Number 62 and Administrative Order Number 20, uh, reduced tariffs on rice, we consider that a big deal. The effect of that is largely to change relative prices. So this, the governor clarifies, is only a reduction to the measure of inflation. When the price of rice goes down, uh, it can have uh, significant second round effects. So it's a good thing, it's, it will help. Moreover, the Monetary Board maintains the BSP's target repurchase rate at 6.5%. The interest rates on the overnight deposit and lending facilities remain at 6.0 and 7.0% respectively. Lower import tariffs under Executive Order No. 62 largely impacted the balance of risk to inflation, shifting it to the downside. So inflation is moving closer to the midpoint of the 2-4% to target range. Inflation expectations remain well anchored. Uncertainties in pork, corn and fish production, electricity rates and transport charges continue to pose upside risk to inflation. So those are the main upside risks. The price of rice is a source of downside risk. Governor Remolona Jr. says rate cuts are still possible for August, saying it's somewhat more likely. We're still hawkish, but less so. Basically, we expect inflation to, uh, to go down this year and maybe even next year. Uncertainty in the external environment calls for some caution against potential spillovers, including those in the financial markets. Looking ahead, the central bank will ensure that monetary policy settings remain in line with the BSP's primary mandate to safeguard prices conducive to sustainable economic growth. Sujin Kim from the National TV Network for the New and Better Philippines.